up, Mythicals? It's Minotaurus here, and I'm here to bring you some slightly scuffed content. If you like what you see, be sure to like this video, and if you want to become an official, official Mythical, hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to check me out on Twitch. I stream Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday from 8 p.m. Central to around midnight. You can catch the link down below. Da -da 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 I'm really nervous for this game. Minimize some things. All right. Let's uh, let's get into this. If you guys like what you see and you would like to test out the demo for yourself, you can go request access on Steam right now. Um, or at least I was able to. Uh, <laughs> but let's. Uh, yep. Let's get. Oh God, guys, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I feel rusty playing a horror game. It's been a little over a month. I mean, and it, I get this is my specialty, but like... Ah, I'm nervous. Okay, you got this, Minnow. You got this. You just gotta believe. Gotta be posy. All right. Start ex Oh, gosh. What is this? Welcome to the experience. We will be starting you in a few minutes, putting you in the shoes of Krieger, a German soldier who participated in World War II. Before continuing, pay attention to the following instructions. Keyboard, gamepad, shortcut. So E, interact. Left mouse button, interact with puzzles. Oh, so it's a puzzle game. Right mouse button to zoom. WSD to move. F for flashlight. Left shift to run. Control to crouch. Escape or P for menu. H for hide, unhide crosshairs. Okay, I think I can get that. Chat, y'all got this? In case I forget something. They make it sound like they're not gonna tell you what to do in the game. The experience is emulated via software through DNA extracted from the human remains of the chosen individual and implemented in the hardware module. The patient's DNA is also extracted to generate compatibility. This version of the software is unstable and may present defects and conflicts. Uh, resulting in a mixture of information. Any possible mental damage to the patient is the responsibility of the patient after agreeing below. You can exit the experience anytime by saying, I want to get out of the experience. What the hell are we getting ourselves into? Initializing will delete your saved data. Okay. What? Oh my god, okay. I feel like we're like signing a waiver to play a game, I feel like. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, let's uh, step into the shoes of Krieger. Krieger. Krieger? I guess I click initialize. Even though it says it will delete your saved data, but I mean, I haven't started yet, so what? I don't have any data saved. Um. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Guys, guys, I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, I don't have a flashlight. Oh! God! Right off the bat, I'm already getting spooked! Ugh. Okay. I don't... Do I go up or do I go down? I don't know. Let's go down first. to interact with anything yet. All wars are silver wars because all men are brothers. Francois Fenelon. All right. I don't know if this is a game that we need to, like, 
check everything out. I think it seemed like you can open the window. But we can't get past the chair. Uh... Stop moving. Okay, there we go. Military service is a risk factor for developing PTSD. Around 78% of people exposed to combat do not develop PTSD. In about 25% of military personnel who develop PTSD, its appearance is delayed. Uh, this place is filthy. Ew, is that blood? Is very creepy. I want to see something really quick. So we can open the window. What's that let something in? Every time he blinks, it freaks me out. <gasps> oh boy. Oh, I just the chills. Oh, Jesus! Oh, double whammy from the game and you, chat. Oh boy. Yep, let's just go to. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Do we go upstairs? I can't. This flashlight sucks! Can't interact with that door yet. We can't interact with that one yet. Oh, wrong button. Um. Imagination is the only weapon in the war against reality. Lewis Carroll. Is this like PT? Where you just go in like a constant loop? What is that heavy breathing and why are there roaches? Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh boy. Another double whammy. Oh boy. Um. I don't know what 
at the hole. I don't look at the hole. PTSD symptoms may result when a traumatic event causes an overreactive adrenaline response, which creates deep neurological patterns in the brain. These patterns can persist long after the event that triggered the fear, making an individual hyper-responsive to future fearful situations. What is that heavy breathing? Oh god! <laughs> Why did I get scared of a fart? <laughs> uh, it's okay, this is defiant. The alerts are there for a reason. The sounds of this game are really good. Right, we can crouch. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Do we look at the hole? Do we look at the hole? There's a hole in your head. Huh? <laughs> <Yeah. gasps> well, I had a feeling something was going to happen after we looked up. You have no idea what's going to happen to her. Is that gunshots? Oh god. No the TV's on? Oh, oh. <laughs> Why is there a baby crying? Scared. Wait, that door's open now. I don't like where this is going. Or does not determine who is right, only who is left. Bertrand Russell. Okay. I'm getting mega PT vibes. Oh, great. The chair's rocking now. <laughs> okay, so we have airplanes going. Oh my god, that sense of dread. Oh, y'all see that? Y'all see the shadow? There's somebody sitting in the chair. The hole got bigger. During traumatic experiences, the high levels of stress hormones secreted suppress hypothalamic activity that may be a major factor towards the development of PTSD. Hey, Frog! 
Frosty, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. We are currently demoing a psychological horror called EXP War Trauma. The game's supposed to freeze like this. Ah! The game crashed! Or was that it? No, it crashed. Okay. Let's see if uh, we can get back in. This is like early, early, early access of the game. So, I do expect there to be some issues with the game. You're playing hide and seek? Is it hide and seek in Among Us? Okay, okay, I got a little turnaround for a second. Oh, and Final Fantasy. Nice, nice. Um, well, good luck with your hide-and-seek adventures. Jesus! 122 people pursuing you? <laughs> I saw that! Among Us VR sounds freaking awesome. I want to get, like, a VR set now. All wars are civil wars because... Okay, so we heard this. Uh, are we starting from the beginning? Okay, no. This looks to be about where we left off. During traumatic experiences, the high levels of stress hormones secreted suppress hypothalamic activity that may be a major factor towards the development of PTSD. the hell just happened? This flashlight sucks. I like the comedic relief of the of the fart. I feel like we keep having to look down this hole and I really don't want to. Yep, maybe we just need some fresh air. It's fine. <laughs> oh! Jesus. Okay, you're fine, you're fine. Oh, we can open drawers. Yeah, dead mouse. I keep feeling like something's behind us. Oh god! Oh, what was that?
Jesus, y'all, Jesus. What do I do? Bad ho, guess what told me kill it? I said let me grab my death No, Uh, she pulled me in like a lasso Saying that she want me, I don't even know it at all it Okay, sorry, sorry, let's just get real in the game again Um Thank you for that Frosty, thank you <laughs> I appreciate it Thank you for the biddies And the, the corpse sound alert Right, right, we're opening up cabinets Oh! Oh god, what is that? Ugh. We'll close that cabinet. That was a hideous cabinet. to go from here. They they be farting up a storm. <laughs> the fart hole. Um, I'm not entirely sure what to do from here. Sink we can interact with. Are we just forever trapped in here? Oh, 
not really trying to get me to- Oh, Jesus! Uh, okay. What's with the hole in the ground? I wonder if being trapped in the room and not being able to leave eventually causes us to start going insane a bit. And that's the whole point. We keep trying different things because we start getting into a routine thinking like if we just change one thing or if we open up another cabinet, something's going to be different. But in reality, we're just going insane. What the fudge I guess was that? Close that cabinet. I'm terrified if that door ever opens. I feel the need to keep my back against a wall. Keep like slowly getting the chills. Like something's about to happen. I, I do slowly feel like our character's going a bit crazy. Um, you ruined the spooks? No, no, you didn't. Not at all. Because when you redeemed hot demon bitches, that actually caught me off guard and kind of scared me. So in a way, you did actually spook me. Best part about my hiding spot is... Um, there's another one like it in the area, so with a pick of the spot, they know they won't know specifically still you in there. Ah, I see, I see. Clever. Just not notice the tile in the kitchen. Has that always been there? Has that always been tile? Um. Can we sit? Can't turn on anything. Door's still locked. Jeez Louise. What's going on with the sound? Is that an air raid? Like, are trying to mimic an air raid? Piece of paper always there? Like the, these sounds really keep you on edge. Kind of like gives you a sense of anxiety. Is 
sounds changed again. Time is still the same. Right, the hideous cabinet. Let's just close that one. Jeez Louise, y'all get me these sound alerts. This looks kind of like a face on the wall. Sounds calm down just a little bit. I keep thinking or expecting to find. Oh boy. I think I know what to do. Fuck. Okay. Uh, look into the hole. Look into the hole. Okay, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Okay, okay. We're safe, we're safe, we're safe. For now. Do we need to like really look out the window? Uh, I don't like this. <laughs> I'm really looking out that window. Let's close it. I don't, I don't entirely know what I'm supposed to be doing. Noise. That was a new noise. Let me out! Hey! Help! Somebody! Not in real life, neighbors. I'm playing a game. Um. Oh, the baby mice, they're still alive. They're moving. Is that, are these worms moving too? Or is that just our eyes? No, they're moving. They are definitely moving. Um. Another noise. <gasps> oh, gosh. Wait a second.
What the? Oh god. Oh god, the door's open now. <sighs> I'm getting some mega chills. <laughs> All right, he's still there. Oh god! Oh boy. <laughs> Why is this door opening? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> and here comes the comedic relief. Yeah, this gives me some PT vibes. Can we still not interact with any of this stuff? Wait. Oh, no, we don't have a cursor or anything, so... I don't wanna look like this, fuck. I don't wanna feel like this, fuck. Wish I didn't miss her so much. Knew that this would happen, fuck. Love, break a mirror, yeah, fucking break a mirror. Clash, here it comes, bleed. Off the fucking ever Clear eyes, red mind, brace. Fucking wish that you were here. I was really fucking hoping it'd be different this year. Uh, she optimistic, not me. No ghetto Esteraki Woe is me, what the hell do you She still want me Say la vie I love that song I can't really hear myself singing so it's like I know I'm saying stuff but then I also know that I thought I heard Genji but I think that was the sound of the game Okay, okay This is just like, like PT Where it's like the loop and each time you come through Hallway colors change. Is the chair facing us? Oh, fuck that. Fuck that. Uh. <laughs> what was that noise? Why does it sound like dogs? Or a monster? I feel like that's not a good idea anymore. What was that? Mommy? Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, no. Ah. I'm so scared. <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh gosh. What the fudge nuggets? There was a child. We heard we heard like a kid crying. Ew. Ew. I'm scared. Levels in a person with PTSD can contribute to symptoms. Low levels can contribute to anhedonia, apathy, impaired attention, and motor deficits. High levels can contribute to psychosis, agitation, and restlessness. Ooh. The door's gonna close again, isn't it? Why, why is the clock suddenly ticking? Oh fuck, that door's open. <gasps> I'm really freaking scared. <laughs> Is the corpse kind of night scared? Uh, sorry. Don't, don't, don't apologize. Why is there an eyeball there now? Whose eyeball is that?
are their eyeballs? In the fridge. Looks like we can interact, but nothing's happening. Those sounds are like not pleasing. Oh, close. Oh. <gasps> What's happening? What's happening? Let's have a water break. All right. Can we do anything? No. I assume we just go back down because it seems to kind of loop, you know? All war is a symptom of a man's failure as a thinking animal. John Steinbeck. Oh God, this again. <laughs> Why'd I put myself in these situations? <laughs> ah! I knew it was coming too! I knew it was coming! Eyeball's still there. The, eye the eyeball's moving! What the hell? Oh my god, it's following us! What the hell? Wait, there's another eyeball. Why are they following us? 
Neighbors got Taco Bell for dinner, it seems. <laughs> it certainly sounds like it. Oh my god! <sighs> what the hell? What's up with the eyes? Oh God! It's another eye. Why are there eyes everywhere? It's another eye. Wait. Imagination is the only weapon in the war against reality. Lewis Carroll. I think we already read that one. I feel like that's a bad idea. Oh god, it's happening again. It's happening again. <sighs> nope. Nope. Is the face gonna pop out again? hell. I knew it! I knew it! Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, what was that? It was peeping a <laughs> Dopamine levels in a person with PTSD can contribute to symptoms. Low levels can contribute to anecdotal, apathy, impaired attention, and motor deficits. High levels can contribute to psychosis. Ooh. And restlessness. Ooh. It's hard to when you're scared. Maybe we... That didn't make me jump, but it made my heart stop for a second. Maybe we need to embrace... Why is the eye moving? Maybe we need to embrace the eye. have a staring contest. We gotta be brave about this. I got this feeling somebody's watching me. There's her eyes. A 
another eye. Press an E. Oh fuck, it's happening again. It's happening again. It's happening again. <sighs> I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <sighs> like a little kid peeking between my fingers. Uh, it's never ending. It's never Do we need to stare into the eye? I don't like where this is going. Was I not supposed to stare into the eye? Or was I supposed to? I don't know. There's new noises this time. There is no flag large enough to cover the shame of killing innocent people. Howard Zinn. Great, now this eye is looking through the window. Are there more eyeballs looking at us anywhere? happening again. Uh... It's happening faster. Impaired attention and motor deficits. High levels can contribute to psychosis, agitation, and restlessness. Just keep staring at the eye. I don't know what to do.
Why did the camera stop shaking? Oh god. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Stare at the eye. Stare at the eye. I don't know. What is up with the clock this time? War settles nothing, Dwight D. Eisenhower. The eye is now there. Again. I guess we gotta wait for the banging on the door. an eye there. Wait, there's two eyes. Two eyes now in this window. I hate that it gives you like the signal to interact with something, but then you can't actually interact with it. There's another eye. Oh great. Oh great, it's happening again. What happens if this time we act like we're sitting in the chair? See what happens. 
I'm ready. I'm ready. Ready for whatever's about to come. Boom, boom, boom. Ain't nothing gonna scare us. Watch, I'm, gonna, I'm about to scream again. to this the energy of the mind is the essence of life aristotle what's that noise if they keep the windows closed. I feel like we're just reliving the same night over and over again now. But like, one little thing is always ever so slightly different each time. Was coming. Hey, dopamine levels in a person with PTSD can contribute to symptoms. Low levels can contribute to anhedonia, apathy, impaired attention, and motor deficits. Now there's two eyes High in that one, though. Can contribute to psychosis, agitation, and restlessness. Maybe there was two eyes in these windows this whole time. Oh. Instructions for using the refrigerator. Pieces of bodies that will that are still fresh should be kept inside the refrigerator for later use. In the case of parts such as eyes and other more vis vis viscous parts, they should be placed in pots with the liquid. If starts to emit a smell, remove the part and throw it away in sector five. Neutr oh, we were supposed to be doing something this whole time. Why can't I click on the eyes? I'm pressing E. Ain't nothing happening. Uh, left click just zooms in. Um, so to interact, you press E. I know we could like try zooming in on things, but. Did we fail? I think we failed the assignment. I wonder if the part of the game just isn't fully working yet. Like this one bit. Mm. No, no. All right, y'all. I think I've had enough of this. This is giving me a lot of anxiety. Um. Uh, I don't know. 
I don't know. I will try one more round. See what happens. Then we'll probably call it with this game. different this time there's no eyes and it's dark outside well darker like you can't see eyes oh wait never mind we just don't have the flashlight on that's why wait a second what if we have to do things without the flashlight for the banging on the door. Every time! I thought maybe we'd have to grab a pot. I still can't click on anything, even though it says I should be able to. Maybe I have to do this. Nope. No flashlight does not make a difference. flashlight on it or not putting the flashlight on it didn't make a difference um I, I want to kind of say maybe this part of the game just isn't quite done not working oh never mind shit well now I know what to do no, now I know what to do. Why can't I put it away? Okay, never mind. Now I think I know what, what we're supposed to do. Okay. Let's try this again. I'm trying to like remember to sit up straight. <sighs> okay. All right, let's do this. I'm ready. I think he's just having a heat, oh, a heart attack or embolism because of the stress. Probably, probably. But now I know what to do. 
Hurry up with the banging. Let me in. Sure, it's taking a while. Come on, hurry up. Well, is it not going to do its thing? Finally understand the assignment. Now let me do it. Hello? Hey. Can you let me in so I can... Thank you. Appreciate it. Put in the pot. Um, I thought H did something. How do you put it away? Are we missing an eye? Oh, we are. How about now? I mentioned about putting it in a pot, maybe? Like a tea kettle pot? Are we missing another eye? about um. oh my goodness there are eyes everywhere Eve 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 hey come on I'm trying man I'm trying did, uh, did I forget another eye up. Wait, that was different. That was new. Okay, okay. Hold on. Alright. Let's try this again. Oh. No shocker. Okay. Let's just sit here and wait. For them to bang against the door and open it. It's 
starting to get the hang of this. Uh, Sound it makes me pick up the eye. It's kind of gross. Okay, is that all of them this time? Uh. Jesus, they are literally everywhere. Can't put it in the fridge. Okay, are we missing another eye? I go as fast as I can. No, no, no. Oh, oh. Did I do it? I did it. There's not much time left. Hurry up. Um, now what? Can't open. Can't open the fridge. Not much time left for what? open. It's music. Like, okay. What the hell? What the fudge nuggets is going on here? Got a little topsy turvy in here. Uh, the fridge is full of human meat. Cute.
what do we do? What is the sloshing noise? supposed to do. No, you fucking idiot! It wasn't supposed to do this! You fucked everything up! What? Look at the shit you did! Fuck! Now he's coming for you! Who's coming for me? Uh... Open the fucking door, Krieger! I can't see. What is happening? What is happening? Okay, okay. I'm intrigued. Wait, what? No door. Oh, oh, oh. Never mind, the door is there. Thundering outside or lightning? Where's the chair? What is that behind? <laughs> oh! oh, God. 
drums, drums in the deep. Rolling in the deep. Drumming in the deep. <laughs> what the hell? What? Oh, great. Doesn't seem like a good time. What am I supposed to do? picked up the toy, I don't know what we're supposed to do. that noise oh great I didn't do something in time uh. just bracing ourselves for death again <laughs> I think I've played enough of this. Um, absolutely love it. It's really good. It's just giving me some anxiety, and I'm ready for something not so scary. 